All right, Game Changers, welcome back to another video here today. First and foremost, Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season, and I hope whatever it is you want to accomplish in this new year, you guys are able to do it. But anyways, I know it's been a little bit of time, but I still want to talk about and give my opinion on PlayStation's recent patent for a skill-based matchmaking-like feature or engagement-optimized matchmaking type of feature in single player games. Now we already know they are in multiplayer games, but in single player games, this is just crazy. So recently, news broke out that PlayStation has patented a system that adjusts the difficulty of a single player game based on the player's skill level. Now this essentially means that the game would dynamically change its challenges to match the player's proficiency. Now this concept I guess to some might sound intriguing, but honestly guys, let's discuss why it could be a bad idea. First and foremost is the loss of player agency, because one of the core aspects of single player games is the player's sense of agency, which is the ability to overcome these challenges and progress to the story at your own pace. And it's a fundamental and fun part of the gaming experience, and that's why single player games are so set apart and so unique compared to multiplayer because implementing a system that constantly adjusts the difficulty will take away this sense of your control as the game is making decisions for the player rather than letting us make our own choices. Another thing is the elimination of challenge because games are meant to be challenging. They provide a sense of accomplishment when you conquer difficult obstacles. And if the difficulty adjusts too much based on the player's skill level, well, it risks eliminating the satisfaction that comes with overcoming tough challenges. And a game that adapts too much could become too easy, which leaves players feeling unfulfilled. Then on the other hand, if you want to take a Dark Souls approach, because those games are quite difficult, it's where the system adjusts difficulty too aggressively and it might lead to frustration. Imagine a scenario where the game becomes unfairly difficult because the system miscalculated the player's skill level, and this could result in a frustrating experience turning players away from the game altogether. I mean, we wouldn't even want to play it because we'd be so dang frustrated with the game. That's honestly what happened to me when I was trying Elden Ring. I just got so frustrated because it was just so dang difficult for me. I know for a lot of people, you guys who are great at games are able to complete it, but I was not able to. And I just got so frustrated that I was like, you know what, screw this. I don't even want to put myself through this time and time again. And so I honestly gave up on it. That's why I much prefer single player games that have a difficulty setting where you can adjust them or choose the different options. If it's too difficult, then you can tone it down and then you feel like you can actually complete it because what ends up happening is if it doesn't have that, like for example, Elden Ring, because it's too hard for you to beat or to progress, then you don't even feel like playing it anymore. And that's exactly what happened. So again, I feel like games should always have that option available. So for those of us who are maybe not as skilled, I'm willing to admit it, maybe I'm not that good. Um, we can adjust that difficulty upon our discretion and not based off of what the game feels that we need. Another thing to keep in mind is it undermines your skill progression because skill progression is a significant motivator for us gamers and we want to improve, face tougher challenges, become better at the games when we play them. And if a game constantly adjusts difficulty to match the player's current skill level, it undermines that sense of progression and growth and potentially discourages all of these players all of us gamers from investing that amount of time and effort into honing our skills and becoming better at the game at our own pace, not where the game decides that. And I know this is a Sony thing, so for those on the Xbox and the PC, maybe you guys are thinking that, oh, we don't have to worry about it because it's mainly on the PlayStation and this is where it's going to be implemented. But who's to say that this won't come to Microsoft and the PC as well, you know what I mean? Like it could definitely come to Xbox and PC. So we're not out of the woods either for those of us who play on Xbox and PC. If you guys are thinking again, this is only specifically for Sony, this is how it starts. It starts on one platform and then spreads to the others. I mean, I don't want this implemented and I feel like we should fight back and give our feedback and let it be known that we are not for this. 
You know, we, we definitely don't want that. The one thing that we want to escape from is skill-based matchmaking and engagement optimized matchmaking from multiplayer. I mean, the one game mode that we can relax in where we don't have to worry about skill-based matchmaking and these try-hard sweats is the single-player mode. So that's where you go to actually have fun if multiplayer is not that fun of an experience for you or you're just frustrated with it and just want to relax. Now honestly guys, while the idea of a dynamic difficulty adjustment in single player games may have good intentions, I think whoever came up with this idea had good intentions, it poses a lot of risks to us and our gaming experience because a loss of player agency, elimination of the challenge, unattended frustration, and undermining skill progression are all potential drawbacks. And as gamers, we appreciate a well-balanced, challenging experience that allows us to take control of our own experience. But I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on this controversial move by PlayStation? Do you guys agree with it? Do you guys not? Let me know all of that down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. With that being said, this is GCP signing off.